travel. State Highway 72, right off of I-75 in Loudoun County, are concerned about mud. Yeah, you see on rainy and snowy days, mud from garbage trucks and debris from the county landfill cover the roadway, which is Highway 72. Now, Six Inner Side Consumer Reporter Don Dare talked with a Loudoun County man who has filed a complaint about this. Well, that's right, Don. Brian Viers, who drives that section of highway every day, went to TDEC, the State Department of Environment and Conservation. As a result of his complaint, an investigation got underway, and Republic Services told the Loudoun County Solid Waste Disposal Commission and the state it would make improvements at the dump site. And there have been some changes made to slow the flow of mud in wet weather, but today residents say not enough has been done. When it rains, a section of Highway 72 becomes muddy in front of the Matlock Bend landfill operated by Republic Services. An investigative study by an environmental company hired by the landfill found discolored and sediment-filled water flowing into a nearby creek. The Matlock Bend Sanitary Landfill is less than a mile west of I-75. The dump serves several cities, including all of Loudoun County. Prior to leaving the site, trucks go through a tire wash, but it doesn't wash away all of the mud. And as you can see, the mud on the tires. The mud ends up on Highway 72. And this is what the road looks like not long after it rains, as mud is spread across the state highway. The mud is tracked out on the road every day, day in, day out. Some days it's not as bad as others, but most of the time it's horrible. A sweeper runs up and down the entrance to the landfill. It's one of the agreements Republic Services made with the state and county several years ago. But dust stirred up by the machine creates its own hazard. I mean, it's just a mud mess. You drive through here, it's mud mess. It's a safety hazard. I don't know how many times I've about slid from, from being behind this sweeper. I've had to veer off. I hit my brakes one day, about slid into the guardrail about being rear-ended from other cars that's coming down through here because it's a mud mess. Republic Services has tried to slow the mud flow over the last year in response to complaints. Still, a lot of the runoff goes into a stream across from the landfill's entrance. What happens is the, the mud is on the, ro on the road. When it rains, it just washes down and it goes right into our stream. And this stream is only just not, just a quarter mile, half a mile to the, to the lake. There is the the problem that when that dirt comes off the landfill and it goes across into the creek, we have no idea what kind of hazardous pollutants we're putting into the creek. And that should be a concern of anyone who values and treasures our rivers. Pat Hunter is a former Solid Waste Commissioner of Loudoun County. She says an independent engineering report issued 10 months ago recommended five action plans to remove dirt, mud, and debris runoff, the result of a citation issued by the state. The uh, landfill operator was cited, so they have a violation and that they had to correct. Obviously, it hasn't been corrected 100%, or we wouldn't still have the problem. Even last week, during the snowstorm, mud was visible on the highway. I'm not an engineer, I don't know, but I know they, they could hire somebody that could come in here and figure a solution out. The citizens of our community deserve a solution, a permanent solution, and no temporary fixes. It's just not working. Now, we reached out to Republic Services seeking their comment. We have not heard back. However, in a letter sent to the State Department of Environment and Conservation last year, Republic said it is committed to resolving the erosion and sediment control issues in a timely manner. It was Brian Viers, who you saw in our story, who first contacted TDEC as a concerned citizen of Loudoun County. His careful documentation of the issues seen on that stretch of Highway 72 initiated TDEC's involvement of trying to bring the landfill into compliance. But as you heard, more, we, more work is needed. Bo? All right, Don, thank you. If you have a consumer question for Don, take a moment, send him an email, ddarewat.com. You can also give him a call. The number is 865-633-6923.